and good afternoon everyone i hope i will be able to keep you guys awake for next 15 20 minutes so something about me first of all i am not a uh, grown fully from technology or from information security so i worked in business then i went into change delivery then i worked as a product manager for current accounts so i looked on the customer aspects as well and then i was a global cyber security controls manager for hsbc and from there now again i'm in the grc role in legal in general so what i take you through today is there is nothing that you already do not know it's all common and all thing what i want i'm trying to do is asking you to think in other way around so everybody comes together on that so roles in tech those are widely understood so it depends on organization level and number of people in the company they are widely main five roles chief technology officer chief information officer i'm talking about the functions under these people so some big companies they will have some uh, chief data officer as well and another company now they will have chief digital officers as well who wants to do no new things with the digital technology and all that so i i will not go through all these things because we all know what they do technology officers set the strategy of technology chief information officer does the Im implementation of information system technology infrastructures and support the organization's operations and enable strategic decision making so i just read from the slides but uh, we all know that but is that fairly right about the functions we have in technology or am i missing anything over here i think everyone's quiet that means uh, you all agree that these are the main five functions we have but now the question is do you understand your purpose do you understand purpose of your role is there five functions different there all doing different things and all of us somewhere fit in with those functions but do do we understand what is the purpose of our role can i do you guys know what's the purpose of the role yes no maybe okay there are a lot of nodes that yes you you do know okay let's see so if we know the purpose of the role then we should be able to solve the modern day challenges effectively the challenges are reducing carbon footprints tax sustainability achieving cost efficiency establishing accountability and technology democratic data ownership so what do we mean by that so all of us have different roles within those five functions but our modern day challenges we do not look for our organizations our stakeholders shareholders our children they are putting these challenges on us not just have a technology ready then there is application ready are we looking on reducing our environment footprints are we managing our waste and pollution tax sustainability is the another thing are we creating future legacy how many times we go in the organization they say i cannot do this or this is not compatible why because we have a tech legacy we have legacy systems it doesn't work so what we are doing today are we creating tech legacy for future achieving cost efficiency most of the time we need a lot of investment in technology but are we going to achieve that efficiency in the cost can we maximize the value of the technology investment we are doing and then establishing accountability so who is accountable whenever we want to do anything it's always like that if things goes wrong it's always like this so where is the accountability in those things and then most important in today's world is where everyone is asking and so as you all the customer your children is going to ask democratic data ownership so i should have control on my own data how you're going to use it and i should be able to port it i should be able to do all the things i need to do and how organization collect it where it goes to third parties these are the modern day challenges our modern day challenges are now that can you make the best technology available can you make um, 
our most secure infrastructure available? Yes, they are challenges in itself, but now we have to move forward. Those were the challenges from last 30 years we were facing. These are the modern day challenges where we'll, uh, we will be asked questions by everyone. So are we ready to know the true purpose of technology? You guys may not agree to that, but the true purpose of the technology is to serve data, nothing else. Even if you go from the old age when the calculator was built, it was to do two multiplied by two or more data. So what we do in technology, process data, or you make infrastructure available to process data. Store data, so anything you're putting in cloud or you're making your mainframes or your data centers, you're storing data. And then cybersecurity, all those things comes in to protect the data. And then everything else beyond that, the controls you put, the application you put, the in analytics you have to govern data. And all these things you do to enable data to achieve business results or satisfy the customer needs. Data is like blood flowing in our body. So if data doesn't flow, if you look objectively, even someone logging into your system is data processing. So if I cannot log into the system, I cannot do anything. So one application consuming data from another application and creating more data. So is everyone agree to our purpose or their disagreements? Um, I think in general, it's a I agree, that's where it comes to enablement of data and protection of data. So integrity is comes under protection of data. Yes, uh, these are very high level, but yeah, I agree to that, yeah. Any other question on that? Okay, moving forward. So what are the key steps we can take to overcome these digital challenges? So we need to flip the way we work the way we were working from last 30 years. So we need to understand our business strategy, clearly define organizational business objectives and goals. So what we want to do for the customer, what we want to achieve for our stakeholders, and then what kind of regulatory uh, landscape we are in, what our competitors are doing. Then based on that, you build your data governance framework. So what data I need to achieve those business objectives and be competitive in the field. Once we have those things, then our strategy should be embed privacy by design. Not afterwards, you bring your system, base of that. So solution architect should be engaging. At the initial stage, you should be looking on how I'm going to make sure privacy is embedded in design. We were looking till now only just on application secure development or a few more things, but privacy by design is a holistic approach. So you develop in a secure way, you protect your data, you make people accountable, you make sure who accesses it, where it goes. So that's the principles uh, we need. And then you define your tech strategy underneath. Not by putting a technology there and asking people, guys, come on, make an application and system and use it. But we need to make sure we know what we want to achieve, then relevant technology strategy we need to build in. We should have good technologies, your data governance in place, privacy security, which is our uh, information security functions. Uh, we put protection, data protection, uh, all application system in place and then compliance requirement. And then implement data-driven technologies. Deploy technologies, those enable effective data management. So how many times we, uh, we find systems from suppliers where like it's a great system, but it cannot work, or it will produce a data in a way which you cannot consume or reuse. So that's, this will create future legacy debt for you. If the data you're creating today cannot be consumed in future efficiently, that will be creating a debt for you in future. So th overall, th that data-driven technology should satisfy your tech strategy and support the organization's goal. 
So modern day challenges and the mitigation. So we talked about these five modern day challenges, how we can reduce. They're very simple things which we can do or we can change our thought process when we make the strategies. For example, for carbon footprint, like I said, there will be nothing new which you won't know. All I want is that you need to think in a different way, define your purpose for the future. Reduce the standby loads, educate your teams. Share files instead. How many times your teams make a copy and send it on email? Why we not block it forever? And put in data governance. So everybody share the same file so we have the control on who is accessing and what is happening in that. Automate your data retention policy. Why we need to be scared of? How many times I come across a stakeholder? Oh, I got recording cities in a, uh, sitting in a data center, but cannot delete it because don't know where it is. What could be on that? Why not? You automate your retention policies as per the regulation, as per your business needs, so auto-delete the data. Take that debt away. Challenge your supplier on the carbon footprints. How many times uh, suppliers provide things, but we don't know how they are using the energy, how they are consuming other resources. Then tax sustainability. Don't just replace it all the time. Reuse, upgrade, seek applications. Those are fast. A lot of time we need to use more tech because our applications uh, demand more resources. Why, we, why, why don't we challenge development? The applications need to be able to work on the same tech in an efficient way. Achieve cost efficiency. Develop digital solutions to comply with standardized data warehousing. This standardized data warehousing term is not commonly used. It is like when you create data and store data, it goes in a standard way, which can be consumed by a lot of application. And then the downstream data will come out in a standardized way as well. What that means is your data is always in a data warehouse or in a data lake in a standardized format. And you put a new application or system in, they should be able to consume it without making any other like streaming arrangements or, um, or in the middle, you need to do anything. And then establishing accountability. So who's accountable? Today's regulation demand, regardless how little this data is, somebody needs to be accountable for that. If that data loss happens, your DPO is not accountable. DPO is just the face of the organization to regulate it. All DPO will do is ask you the question. So now, how many organization faced fine? Only single regulation which can take company out if they apply that kind of fine is the GDPR compliance. So we need to ensure accountability is there. Why accountability needs to be established? Because the, you put the accountability, people start doing the right things. You put the right policy standards and controls and they use digital solutions for automated classification. A lot of time you find a solution, yes, it will do everything, but only if this policy will be fully implemented. So there is a get, to, get out of jail free card. So if anything goes wrong, we can say, yes, policy wasn't implemented in a full way. So uh, this control failed. So all those things we are talking about here, they're not easy fixes. All it demands is you change the way you think. We, can, we cannot have five functions working in silos. They need to work together. They need to serve one common purpose. At the moment, what happens is technology provide infrastructure and then business want their application in. And where the data governance and uh, your data ownership goes? Nowhere, because if organization is lucky, they have a chief data officer, they may have some sort of policy hanging somewhere down the line, it will be implemented, but otherwise nobody cares. But in future, organizations will only lag if they cannot manage the data, they cannot efficiently use the data. How many organizations we have over here, those are 100 years old, 150 years old, but they can't do anything with the data because it's not standardized. It's not efficient anymore. And then we have people who wants to do everything with that data. Then democratic data ownership. So the word is coming where 
people will ask for data portability. So uh, we have to comply with that. But can we comply? Because GDPR compliance, we have seen in 2018 to 2021, how big struggle it was. Until now, companies do not have a clue. Means leave the top probably 10, 20 companies, the other companies still struggling with it. So that's all my thoughts on that.